Welcome everyone to the Riverside Antler Breakfast. The theme of this event is all about supporting local and that flyover of Riverside you just saw included all of our wonderful local sponsors whom we'll share more about in a bit. I'm your host, John Paulson of JNC Toronto Real Estate and I'm one of the proud Santa's helpers, sponsors of this year's fundraiser, all in support of the local Rivertown Breakfast Program. I'd encourage you to share a bit about yourself in the chat and participate throughout the event by sharing any comments or questions or shout outs in the chat throughout. It's so nice to see so many familiar folks. Welcome. While it's the ninth annual Riverside Antler Breakfast, it is the first ever virtual antler breakfast. So you're in for a special treat. We'll be doing some things that you wouldn't normally be able to experience in person. And while this is great, we certainly miss being able to get together with you all and we thank you sincerely for your support and for joining us here today. Our program today will help you put a face to many of the key folks involved in this initiative while adding something to your culinary repertoire, enjoying some songs and trivia, and hearing from some very special guests, including possibly the big guy in red and white himself. Yes, we have a special greeting from Santa to share, and he may just be able to join us live from his home in the North Pole and answer a few of your questions that we've shared with them. I'll keep you updated with any news on that. We also have our amazing support local auction with items from our small business community here in Riverside. You can place your bids throughout the event in the chat. We've got the silent auction items, their value and starting bids posted in the chat now. So please bid generously starting right now and throughout the event. I'll give a signal to get your last bids in about five minutes before the end of the show. Keep your eye on the chat at the end as the winners will be announced there. Now, we do have a special message pre-recorded from Santa as he paid us a quick visit earlier in November at the Ralph Thornton Community Center here in Riverside where the antler breakfast is usually held. He brought along his Santa dog, Copper. Enjoy this message from Santa. Welcome, Welcome everyone to the Riverside Antler Breakfast. breakfast. Ho, 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 you all know who I am. It's been one heck of a year for all of us. It's been hard up in the North Pole, keeping those elves socially distanced while they're working on the toys. But I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you on December the 12th at the virtual antler breakfast. Ho, 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 ho. Thanks, Santa. By the way, I've just heard from the elves and they're quite positive on a guest appearance later in the show. I'm so excited. Fingers and toes crossed. Now, I'd like to share a bit of background about the Riverside Antler Breakfast and the good cause that we're fundraising for, the Rivertown Breakfast Program. The Riverside Antler Breakfast was launched in 2011 by Chef Scott as a fundraiser in collaboration with the Riverside BIA and local businesses. Since 2016, the event has been hosted at the Ralph Thornton Community Center, which is an incredible partner in space that is welcoming and accessible to everyone in the community. Once again, this is the first time hosting this event virtually. The Antler Breakfast has long supported the Rivertown Breakfast Program, championed by Rivertown Safety First, a resident collective founded by Joan King and composed of Toronto Community Housing Women Leaders, dedicated to making a positive impact in their community. The Breakfast Program runs every Friday, year round, to provide about 100 children, seniors, and people with different abilities, including primarily Black, Indigenous, and people of color, in the local community with a free hot breakfast. It also aims to bring people in the community together, regardless of their family income level, and give them something to look forward to while building a sense of community. It really is an amazing initiative. I'm happy to share that we've got a message from Joan King, founder and organizer of Riverside Safety First and the Breakfast Program. Without Joan's hard work, this program would simply not be possible. We've also got a festive tune from Angel and Angelique, they're sisters, local residents, and longtime participants of the breakfast program. They're also excellent singers who grace us with their voices each and every year at the Riverside Antler Breakfast. They'll be singing Jingle Bell Rock. Please feel free to sing or hum along from home. Take it away. My name is Joan King. I would like to welcome people to the virtual Antler Breakfast in support of the River Tongue Breakfast Program. The River Tongue Breakfast Program runs every Friday of the year, feeding over 100 local residents, including children, seniors, and people of different disability. Thanks for the support of everyone this year when we need it more than ever. 
Thank you. Five, six, seven, eight. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing a bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell chimes and jingle bell times. Dancing and prancing in Jingle Bell Square. In the frosty air, what a bright time. It's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time, it's a swell time to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. A mix and mingle in a jingling beat. That's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell rock. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We hope that got you all into the holiday spirit. Now, I'd like to introduce to you Chef Scott, the founder of the Riverside Antler Breakfast and his Chef Scott shop. If you ordered an Antler Breakfast brunch box, you should have it on hand now, including fresh locally sourced ingredients that was handpicked and packaged for you by the chefscottshop.ca. Now, here's Chef Scott unboxing the holiday brunch box and talking about the ingredients. And don't forget, again, to bid generously on all the fantastic auction items in the chat to support our amazing cause. Hi folks, I'm Chef Scott from the Chef Scott Shop and Toronto Food Tours. And I'm really happy to be part of the Antler Breakfast this year. I know the Antler Breakfast is going to be different. We all come together and we all have a we all have a great time when we raise money for the community. Unfortunately, due to COVID, that's not going to happen this year. We're going to go virtual. And what I've done is I've created a special breakfast box from the St. Lawrence, the historic St. Lawrence Market. I'm going to show you here exactly what you're going to get uh, because it's going to be fantastic. I know normally I cook it for you. This year you're gonna cook it yourself, but you know what? I'm gonna send you some recipes in the box and you're gonna make a delicious breakfast. So let's take a look. Okay. So our beautiful breakfast box from the historic St. Lawrence Market. And of course, hey, you're gonna get some antlers. So a couple of pair of antlers in there. Nobody can start today without coffee. It's from our friends at Everyday Gourmet in St. Lawrence Market. Nothing beats nice, fresh bagels. Okay, so these are from our friends at uh, St. Urban Bagel. Just beautiful, beautiful bagels. Mm. And bagels, of course, need cream cheese. Mm. A little bit of fruit salad. Mm. Some potatoes some of my Chef Scott seasoning, some onions, so you can make beautiful hash brown potatoes, mm -hmm. an avocado, because everybody needs something green, really healthy, pea meal bacon, and the start, um, a Toronto invention, invented right in St. Lawrence Market, and some Homestead Farm eggs. So nice, beautiful brown eggs. And that way you can make, for your family, you can make a beautiful breakfast at home and join us virtually for this year's Riverside Antler Breakfast. Even though it's going to be different this year, it's really important to remember that we have to, we have to keep supporting the community. We have to keep supporting each other. That's what makes Riverside such a strong community. And I'm really pleased to have been part of this from day one. So thank you very much and enjoy your breakfast. Thank you, Chef Scott. We'll be seeing more of him shortly for a special mouth-watering cooking demo. But first, I'm pleased to share some welcome messages from our elected officials, Councillor Paula Fletcher, MPP Peter Tabins, and MP Julie DeBruzen, who have been longtime supporters of this initiative through donations of time and support since the very beginning. Over to you, Paula, Peter, and Julie. Hi, it's City Councillor Paula Fletcher, and welcome to the virtual antler breakfast. Normally we're sitting here eating the fantastic breakfast that Chef Scott has prepared for us together and socializing 
at the holiday season. But this year, we're here virtually. Thank you for your participation. For nine years, the community has raised funds to support the Rivertown Breakfast Program, where every week, folks get a really yummy, hot meal. So thanks so much for being part of this today. I look forward to being together in person at the 10th Annual Breakfast in 2021. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Riverside Antler Breakfast. It's a great way to eat a delicious breakfast and support a really good cause, the Rivertown Breakfast Program. I hope you have a great meal. I hope that next year we can get together and do this in person. And I want to thank Chef Scott, Riverside BIA, Ralph Thornton Center, and all the volunteers who made this morning possible. Have a fabulous day. Welcome to the Antler Breakfast, everyone. Have a wonderful day and let's support a great program. Big thanks again to our elected officials for their ongoing support. There's an auction item generously donated by Julie made up of locally sourced gifts. Don't forget to bid in the chat. So next up, we have Chef Scott back with a tasty holiday Italian frittata cooking demo. This morning, we are going to cook a frittata, okay, which is a fancy word for classic Italian omelet. Uh, we're gonna start our omelet in the pan. We're gonna finish it in the oven. The nice thing about a frittata is it just, it lets you use up all those leftovers in your fridge too. So we're gonna start with Put a pan, oh, we've got high heat here. We're gonna take some olive oil. We'll put some olive oil in the bottom of our pan. And I am gonna thinly slice these potatoes. And I'm gonna get them frying in the olive oil so they're nice and crisp. And then we're going to do some Italian sausage. Um, we're going to do some cheese and some nice fresh uh, vegetables and some herbs and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Let's just get this stuff frying up here. Oh, beautiful sound. So our potatoes will fry up. We've sliced them small, so they'll cook fairly quickly. And while our potatoes are cooking up, I'm gonna show you this is beautiful Italian sausage and you can buy sausage meat, but you can also just buy regular Italian sausage and just take the, and you could, you don't have to use Italian sausage. You could use bacon. You could use um, breakfast sausage. Um, you could even use little leftover bits of steak. If you had some steak left from last night's dinner and we're gonna just take the skin off of this sausage, just like so, so that we have nothing but the meat left. And now we're just gonna, we'll just break this up in our pan. It doesn't have to be fancy. We'll just break that up and it'll fry up with the, um, with the potatoes. We're gonna get some nice browning happening here from the caramelization factor, from the natural sugars release. It's too bad we don't have smell-o-vision because this smells really good. And we're gonna give that a little bit of spice mix. So we're taking that and a little bit of onion. So I'm using red onion, but you don't have to. You can use whatever onion you happen to have in your fridge. And we're gonna chop our onion up, get that frying up in there too. Oh, look at that. It's starting to look beautiful. Got some beautiful Ontario asparagus. Put in. Some arugula, nice little peppery taste. We've got some mushrooms. Now these are cremini mushrooms. And did you know that a cremini mushroom is just a baby portobello? So this is like a little teenage mushroom. When it grows up, it becomes a portobello mushroom. Call it a cremini mushroom. Now mushrooms, remember, okay, mushrooms are 90% water. So when you 
To clean a mushroom, don't rinse it underwater. Just take a wet paper towel and just brush it off. And we're gonna throw a little bit of red pepper in there. Just gonna give it a nice color and a nice sweetness. And finally, we're gonna throw in some nice fresh basil. So I'm gonna show you how to chiffonade basil. So we're gonna take our leaves and we're gonna lay them out together. Like so. And then we're just going to roll, start at one end and just roll it up really tight, like so. Now when we cut it, we're going to have what's called a chiffonade. So we're going to get that in there. We're going to let that stuff fry up. Go look at that. And that is going to be the base. We're going to add some egg and some cheese to this. And it's going to be delicious. So, we'll take some eggs. I'm going to use six eggs. Now, some people use milk and omelets. I tend to want to use water. I find it, it it's, it's going to puff nicer. And then we are going to grate some cheese in here just real quickly. This is Avonlea cloth bound cheddar from Prince Edward Island. It is absolutely so amazing. Beautiful, beautiful cheese, uh, cheddar cheese. And it is, um, it's aged in um, cloth. A little bit of spice mix in there. Okay. Finally, we're going to throw some. These are chives. And we're just going to coarsely chop some chives. We're going to throw those in. Give that a little whisk up. And we're going to turn our heat down just a bit. And we're just going to pour that right in there. And look at how beautiful that looks, all of the colors. Okay. We're gonna just let that set just a little bit. You can see it's starting to set, it's starting to pull away from the side there. And then we're just gonna pop this in the oven and we're gonna let it cook in the oven. So easy peasy. Okay. Throw this in our oven right here. Boom. Okay. 20 minutes later, we're gonna have this beautiful Italian frittata. All right. Okay, the time has come. And our frittata is finished. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks. i just get that over here. So, and this will easily feed four people. Put a little bit of fruit salad with that and we'll garnish that with a little with a little chopped chive and there you have it folks beautiful Italian frittata
That looks amazing. Are you getting hungry yet? I know I am. Next, we're gonna do some fun Riverside antler breakfast and holiday trivia with Ms. Claus, who claims to be Santa's daughter. Anyhow, she seems nice and she spots some local prizes. Whoever gets the correct answer to each trivia question in the chat first gets an amazing local swag item from the Riverside BIA. Over to you, Mrs. Claus. Ms. Claus, over to you. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Claus, Santa's daughter. Never heard of me? Well, I've pursued a different career path as a holiday trivia show host. Santa doesn't know, please don't tell him. I'm supposed to be helping make the list and check it twice. Okay, let's have some fun. First question to help you warm up. Just put your answer in the chat and the first one to get the right answer to each of these still skill testing questions will be sent a fabulous local gift from Riverside BIA. Now, first question, what's the postal code for Santa's home in the North Pole? Right, H-O-H-O-H-O. -O -H -O. Now, second question, who is the most famous reindeer of all? Type it in the chat. Oh, yep, that was an easy one, right? Rudolph. Now, third question. This one's about the Riverside Antler Breakfast. What big anniversary will it be for next year's Riverside Antler Breakfast? This one involves a little bit of math. Well, you got it. The answer is 10th. Final question for the bonus round. Will we be getting a white Christmas this year? I guess no one really knows the answer to that, but here's wishing for it. Thanks for playing holiday trivia. Over and out from Mrs. Claus and back to you, John. Thank you, Ms. Claus, and congrats to the winners. I'm so happy to introduce at this time our Santa level sponsor for the Riverside Antler Breakfast, Outline Financial. They're an incredible team of local mortgage brokers here in Riverside who not only get you the best rates, but truly care about the community and show that through their ongoing support. Here's a message from Jason and the Outline team. Hey everyone, this is Jason Friesen with Outline Financial here in Riverside. This year marks the fourth year in a row that I've been the Santa sponsor for the Rivertown Antler Breakfast in support of the Rivertown Breakfast Program. The Rivertown Breakfast Program provides over 100 warm breakfasts each week to people in our community. As someone who grew up with food insecurity, I appreciate and understand how important these programs are to our communities. Thank you once again for attending, and we look to see you again next year, hopefully in person. Be well, everyone. Thank you so much, Jason and the folks at Outline. We're now getting word that Santa is coming online in just a few moments. But just before that, we wanna take a moment to recognize and thank our other Riverside Antler Breakfast sponsors. Also, a reminder that we have just five minutes before the support local auction closes. Please get your last bids in the chat and help us continue to raise funds for the Rivertown Breakfast Program. Now, on to our sponsors. Thanks again to all of our sponsors this year. Now we have a very special guest to read some festive poetry. Enjoy this spoken word from Copper the Santa Dog. Tonight's my first night as a watchdog and here it is Christmas Eve. The children are sleeping all cozy upstairs 
while I'm guarding the stockings and tree. What's that now? Footsteps on the roof? Could it be a cat or a mouse? Who's this down the chimney? A thief with a beard and a big sack for robbing the house. I'm barking, I'm growling, I'm biting his butt. He howls and jumps back in his sleigh. I scare his strange horses, they leap in the air. I frighten the whole bunch away. Now the house is all peaceful and quiet again. The stockings as safe as can be. Won't the kitties be glad when they wake up tomorrow and see how I've guarded the tree? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, we have Santa coming in live from the internet at his home in the North Pole. Luckily, he was able to take a minute out of his busy holiday preparation schedule to say hello and answer some of your questions. <laughs> oh, hello everyone! This is Santa coming to you from my home here at the North Pole along with my sled dog Copper. Did you know that the North Pole is right here in Canada? Well, I'm really busy getting ready for the big ride, but I'm really happy to be here for the Riverside Antler Breakfast. And I understand we have a few questions, so let's get right to them. First question here, is Christmas canceled? Oh, 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 no, not at all. It's going to be different this year. We'll be taking lots of precautions, but I'm going to make sure that everybody gets their toys as safely and as socially distanced as possible. Maybe hard to keep those reindeer a little bit apart. You know what they're like but we will do our best and everybody will get their toys. Second question here. Santa, how do you wear a mask with your big beard? Well, it was hard to find a mask that fits over this beard, but the elves have been hard at work and they're very inventive. They've created a great mask, but if you want to design one and leave it for me along with the cookies, I'm sure that I'm gonna need at least one or two changes of mask when I'm on my ride, because this suit gets really hot and that mask is gonna need a change. So third and final question I have time for is, how can we make it feel like Christmas this year? There are lots of ways. For instance, I really like seeing all the um, bright sparkly lights on the houses and on the Christmas trees. And I know that baking cookies and um, having food, and I'm hoping that you'll leave some cookies for me is another really important thing to do. I've also heard of this thing called Zoom, where you can get together with your family and friends and you can make sure that everybody gets together, even the people that are just around the corner that you can't usually see. So just remember, stay safe this Christmas and don't forget to send your letters to Santa at the North Pole. Um, this year, you can probably even send them with Zoom. So thank you, everybody. Have a very, very Merry Christmas. And just you remember, you'd better be nice and not naughty. Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas! Ah, oh, thank you, Santa, for taking that time out of your busy schedule and wishing you good speed and good health on your big journey this holiday season. Well, folks, the event is nearing its end. The support local auction is now closed. So please check in the chat to see who the winning bids are for the auction items. I wanna congratulate all the winners and the Riverside BIA will be getting in touch with you soon to arrange for your items. You've been an incredible audience and we all wanna thank you again for your support and please keep supporting local here in Riverside. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone, and happy holidays.